Cancellations and delays continue to play a role at our year. local airport across the country. Thousands of flights have been canceled. It's having a trickle down effect right here at Savannah Hilton Head International. Yeah, they say it's just a mess. And the worst part for some people, the problem is not going away anytime soon. WJCL's Nick Natario live at the airport where the frustrations are getting right, off well, the ground because the planes are. This has been a consistent theme all day here at the airport that I've been monitoring. Let me show you what the actual up to date board looks like right now. There's a lot of red, a lot of green. There are three flights that have been canceled. Several more that have been delayed all the way up until 8 o'clock tonight. So if you're coming out here, make sure you're checking and calling ahead. But this has been kind of the real story. Sure, there are people flying, but look at the line trying to get on board and get those tickets. And for some people, they tell us that it could be several days before they can get out of here. The line for boarding passes at the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport today was much longer than people waiting to get through security. Why? Because several people, including Paul Rothhamel, had no plane to board. When I got here this at about 10:30, 11, I was figuring to leave at once, 1:40, and I just found out can't get out of here till Friday. And now Rothhamel says his son in Seattle will have to wait. I'm 66 years old, been flying all over, and I've never had this problem. Leslie Towser is also trying to get to Seattle. She had her Saturday flight canceled and finally got one today. But it doesn't mean she'll get home. Flight going to Houston is two hours late right now, which means that when we get to Houston, our flight leaving Houston will have already left. Airport officials say there have been more than 20 cancellations since last week. And with airports across the country continuing to have issues, expect more throughout this week. It's been a week long problem, which leaders say is unusual. You had the snow, and then you had the cold and then you had the snow so yeah you've got a few different storms you know coming on top of each other right around the holidays so that makes it a little bit worse. While all these delays and cancellations are causing big lines and headaches at the airport for nearby hotels every single one of them tell us that they've seen extra business because of all these flight issues. One of those people forced to stay an extra night is Sandra Dresdner. I want to get out. You know, it's expensive. The whole thing is expensive. At least Dresner says when it comes to future flights, she's learned something this time around. Are you going to travel next winter? No. Now, if you are planning to catch a flight tonight or have to get out in the next couple of days and don't want to get surprised at what you see at the things on the board, airport officials say make sure you're calling ahead your airline, checking online because there's been a lot of changes. And even though you can get out of here, there's a lot of connection issues. So make sure you are communicating with them. And if you are stuck in the area, well, now's not actually a bad time because a lot of the hotels that we spoke with say that they have plenty of rooms and pretty good deals. So there's a lot of space uh, here near the airport if you are needing a night. And we will continue to monitor the situation, see how much longer there could be issues here at the airport. But for now, reporting live at the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport, Nick Notario, WJCL News, working for you.